Feminine hygiene products are a booming industry with sales totaling over $2.7 billion this year alone. That's a lot of. That's a lot of. Yeah, money. And that's, that's a lot of that's, hygiene. That's a products. lot of care down there, so, so to speak. All right. While some products are a definite necessity, mm -hmm. others are designed around the idea they make you feel fresh and clean. Well, but could those non essential products actually be putting you at greater risk of infection down there? And this all comes from a new Canadian study out of Ontario where they found gel sanitizers were in fact associated with eight times higher risk of yeast infections and a 20 times higher risk of bacterial infections. So I will say overall, we know that when it comes to the genital region, less is more. And that area is just really, really sensitive. So when you're putting these creams and gels and scented soaps and you're using all of this stuff, it can really irritate the area. And it can increase the probability of things like yeast infections or bacterial vaginosis or bacterial infection because you're disrupting the natural balance between, between the good bacteria and bad bacteria in the vagina. And when you have bacterial infections like bacterial vaginosis, it can increase the probability of sexually transmitted infections. So you want to be very careful. Overall, I would say remember that your vagina is not supposed to smell like a rose garden. It doesn't need to have a fishy odor. You know, that can indicate an infection, but at the same time, have realistic expectations. And if you notice, a di are you? I'm like, well, I don't know. Well, then, and if you, if you notice an odor or anything like that, you, you don't want to mask it. You really want to go to the doctor so they can find the underlying cause. I would say be very careful. If you want to use something like this, then make sure you're adding one new product at a time so that if you do have irritation, you know where that irritation is coming from. But overall, I know you want your vagina to be the best it can possibly be. I know you're trying to help, but your vagina really has it covered. Just some warm water with a little unscented soap on the outside, if you must, is just fine. You really don't need these things. So it yeah, sounds and, like and women I, have their own natural rinse cycle, right? Absolutely, we do. Discharge. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the secretions we perform actually really maintain that normal flora, yes. so completely agree from the skin perspective. Yeah. Unsi unscented, undyed, really gentle products. Yes. But what I would say is when you hear those numbers about 20 times and eight times the risk, remember the way this particular study was done, though I completely agree with everything yeah. you're saying, was they, after the fact, asked women, were you using these products and did you have these infections? So you can't really assign causality here. We don't know if women were using more of these products because the they infection, already had right. infections. Yeah. So, so there may be not entirely objectivity in terms of creating those numbers, but I think that anytime you disrupt that normal balance of flora, it's so important just to know that your vagina doesn't need it, and yeah. you can just maintain your cleanliness without adding a bunch of sense. Yeah, if dust. your vagina could talk, it would probably say, please stop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it'd yeah. say, thank you very much. Yeah, no, thank, <laughs> you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, if, if, if I may just interrupt for a second, okay? Uh, it had, well, to, it had to, unfortunately, it had to come to an end at some point. Yes. Well, I just said, you know what? I think just a, a moral story here. At the end, I think we're using too many cleansers for everything. Yes. yes. You know, the body has natural bacteria. People that, you know, take all these high colonics, my end of it, you know, we just need to, like, be a little bit more natural. And sometimes you can do everything right, and that balance between the good bacteria and bad bacteria in your vagina can still get off. And in that case, you can go to the doctor, we can see what's going on and get you back on track. But overall, these things really don't help you.